So yesterday I tweeted out a really long rant regarding the Go Battle League. I talked about everything that I dislike about the Go Battle League. I talked about how the meta has been the same pretty much since the beginning for all of the different leagues and how frustrating it was that Niantic has refused to change up the meta. They've refused to do a lot of different things to make PvP better. I even talked about how the lag has played Season 1 and how overall I've just been unsatisfied with PvP and completely uninterested. But immediately after I sent out that tweet, Niantic gave us all of the information information regarding Season 2, more specifically what they're going to be changing in the Go Battle League to make it a better system. But are these changes enough to get me interested in PvP? Is it enough to fix the Go Battle League? Only time will tell, but I still think we should discuss these changes in this video. Alright, let's get right into it. <laughs> How's it hanging everyone? It's me, It's Count here with a brand new Pokemon Go video. Today I'm going to be talking about all of the changes that are coming to the Go Battle League in Season 2. This is stuff that's pretty exciting for people who are really interested in battling and for some of us who are completely disengaged and completely disinterested from battling, there's some interesting stuff in here that is worth discussing. But real quick, if it's your first time here to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't forget that little bell as well. And I want to give a quick shout out to my patrons on Patreon. You make this channel possible. If you want to support this channel, I highly suggest you go and check out the links in the description below. All right, so with all that out of the way, let's talk about PvP. Like I said, there's just a lot of things with the Go Battle League that I was completely disinterested in. Back in the preseason, I did find myself enjoying PvP just a little bit more, but when it came to Season 1, there was just a lot of different problems. Whether it was lag, whether it was the meta, I just felt like the game mode was struggling, and I really feel like Niantic was too quiet on the matter to their own detriment. I really feel like PvP needed a lot of changes that needed a lot of fixing but Niantic was radio silent when it came to what they were planning to do with PvP. But now that Season 1 is coming to a close, Niantic is planning to do a lot of nice little changes to PvP to mix it up a little bit. There's definitely going to be a bunch of new Pokemon in the meta and of course we are going to see the premiere of the Premier Cup. Alright, first and foremost, we gotta talk about the meta shift because a bunch of Pokemon are getting buffed up and one Pokemon is going to make its strong debut into the meta thanks to the addition of a new move. So first and foremost, the following moves are getting themselves completely reworked. I'm talking about Drill Run, Moon Blast, and Wild Charge. All three of these moves have been lackluster at times. It hasn't been as strong as other comparable moves, but now they are going to get a nice boost whether it's reduced energy costs or increased damage or both. So you're going to see Pokemon like Raikou and Cresselia make a stronger appearance in the meta and I'm really excited about that because one of my main complaints regarding PvP is that the meta has been unchanged and it's been really difficult to counter that meta. For example in the Master League all you pretty much see are Dialgas and Giratina origin forms and it's really difficult to counter these Pokemon and you really have to get lucky but now we're going to see a whole bunch of other Pokemon challenge these Pokemon and it's going to be a very diverse and really fun meta. Now I did mention that a particular Pokemon is going to make its premiere into the Go Battle League and it's mainly because it's going to be getting a new move and of course I'm talking about Palkia and it's going to be getting Aqua Tail. This is a huge thing for the meta in Pokemon Go in the Ultra League and Master League. We're going to start seeing a whole bunch of Palkias mainly because if you think about Dragon Breath and Aqua Tail it's going to outduel a ton of Pokemon. As of right now the best water option in the Master League has been Kyogre but it looks like Palkia is going to take that spot. And of course because Wild Charge got buffed up as well, well we're gonna see a lot of Pokemon that counter Palkia show up as well. This is the kind of stuff that I've been wanting with the Go Battle League. Constant meta shifts, just buffing up Pokemon or nerfing Pokemon, these sort of balance changes will increase the competitiveness of the Go Battle League. And I feel like for Season 1 they just neglected to do that, which was 
pretty detrimental to at least my own personal enjoyment of the Go Battle League. Now I really wanted to talk about this particular change because I think it's going unnoticed, but they're going to tweak the rewards as well. As of right now, we're going to be able to get the Pokemon encounter in the third win of every set as opposed to the fourth win. I actually like this change a lot because for me personally, it was really frustrating not getting that fourth win on most of my sets, whether it was due to lag or whether it was because I just had some unlucky leads, but I really think this change is going to motivate players to PvP a lot more, mainly because if they're just looking for those rewards, well, getting a new Pokemon that you could only get through the Gold Battle League, it's going to be better than just two rare candies. And I really feel like a lot of players gave up on PvP in Season 1 because they can't consistently get that fourth win, so they just feel like it's not necessary to do the Go Battle League right now. But by moving that reward to the third win, which is a lot more easier to achieve, then a lot of more players are going to do these Go Battle League battles because they want to get those rufflets and they want to get those legendaries and it's going to be much easier for them to do so. Now finally for this video I really want to talk about this because I think it's the best thing that they've done for Pokemon Go and it creates a lot of nice potential new things for the future of the Pokemon Go PvP system and that is the Premier Cup. Now when you hear Cup in PvP, you think of everything that the Sylph Arena has been doing. Of course they do formatted gameplay with the Great League, and this is something that I've been saying for a long time that the Go Battle League should be doing. And this may not necessarily be exactly that, but it is pretty close. Basically what they're going to be doing is having a fourth league that's going to be in conjunction with the Master League, where you can do Master League battles with no legendaries or no mythicals. With that restriction in place, you're going to see a lot more different metas show up, and I really wanted that for Pokemon Go. The more diversity of Pokemon that we see in the Go Battle League, the better it's going to be from a competitive standpoint, from an interesting gameplay standpoint. I mean, it's just going to be a lot better. So the Premier Cup is definitely going to allow that, so I definitely welcome this change. Overall, I think Season 2 is going to be a lot better. It's definitely going to be a step up from Season 1, but in terms of my own personal interest in PvP, I think it's kind of relatively the same. I'm still a little bit disinterested. Pokemon Go PvP is pretty much just a glorified rock, paper, scissors. It's a guessing game. And I know a lot of battlers are going to disagree with me on that because there is a level of complexity to it and strategy to it. But to be honest with you, the way the Go Battle League was in Season 1, it pretty much came down to who had the best Dialga, who had the best Togekiss, and who had the best Giratina Origin form, and are you going to bring out those Pokemon in the right order? That's really what it came down to, and it was pretty boring. And the motivation to grind was just not there, so PvP was very very disinteresting in Season 1. But Season 2 is proving to be more interesting and they are switching it up, so I'm excited to see what ends up happening. Of course, this could all be just more of the same issues, even with these moveset changes and with some of these buffs, like we could end up seeing a new meta and it's just going to be the same of a bunch of new Pokemon, but we'll just have to wait and see. And of course in Season 1 we saw a lot of issues regarding lag, so I'm really hoping in Season 2 they've tightened it up and made sure lag does doesn't happen because if we have two seasons in a row where lag is a huge issue then that's going to spell a lot of problems for the Go Battle League moving forward. But these are just my thoughts regarding all of this. I would love to know yours. What are your thoughts regarding all of the season 2 changes? Let me know down below. And yeah, I'm really hoping that season 2 ends up being something great because me personally, I really want to enjoy PvP in Pokemon Go. I think it's something that has been really great for a lot of trainers and I personally want to feel that same level of excitement, but they've just made it very difficult for me to get there. So hopefully things change in Season 2. We'll just have to wait and see. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video, everyone. I am Count Jinsula, and as always, be safe, and I'll catch you all later. 
How's it hanging everyone? Before I end this video, I want to give a quick plug to my Patreon page. If you want to support this channel, I highly suggest you go and check out the link in the description below. Every little bit helps when it comes to these YouTube videos. So if you want to support this channel, if you love the content that I'm producing and you want to contribute, definitely go and check it out. I have a lot of nice perks like if you want to be on my permanent friends list or if you want to get exclusive content or participate in exclusive content that's coming soon definitely go and check it out and to all of my patrons I thank you for supporting my channel I really hope you enjoyed this video everyone and if you did don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as that little bell so you stay up to date on whenever I upload videos follow me on social media at Count Jinsula leave your thoughts in the comments below and yeah have a great day I'll catch you all later